kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Now, throughout this whole process, after you get the PA signed, okay, this is typically what they do for communication, what other wholesalers do for communication. They drop the seller and they concentrate on trying to find the buyer. And that's fully all and well, but you always want to keep the seller updated no matter what. Okay. Hey, we're still going through the process. Just letting you, just keeping you updated on what's going on. Let you know I'm here, and let me know if you have any questions about the process. Okay. Okay. Keep them because in the loop. This is, keep them in the loop because this is what's going to happen. All right. Now, God forbid this does happen, where you get by because you started advertising it. You may get buyers trying to go behind your back and going straight to the homeowner, like I told you you did before. Okay. But now with you keeping open communication with the seller, they have no reason to doubt you. No reason whatsoever. Okay. All right. No, I already got it sold. Click. Or if they're not okay. trying to go, if there's not somebody else trying to go around you, guess what? There's other people, other wholesalers like yourself got their number just the way you did and trying to call them and trying to buy it. So what you want is for them, the, the sellers to say, no, we already got it sold. We're closing in two weeks. Click. That's it. Okay. Okay. All right. That makes so, sense. Because if they have any doubt, they're going to start listening to other offers. And if, especially if you ignore them. Exactly. Especially okay. if you know, ignore them. Okay. Okay. So keep that in mind that keep open communication with them. Let them know where you're at in the process. Let them know what's going on, so on and so forth. Hey, we're okay. still going through title. Title's still working on it. So, on, you know, hey, do you have any questions up until this point? Are you good? You know, um, things like that. All okay. Right. All right. Um, and then just answer any questions that they do have, you know? So things like that. Okay. All right. That makes now sense. same thing and same thing with the buyer. Okay. Keep the buyers updated buyers because they're investors. They're a little bit more used to everything, but they want to close quickly. All right. If you don't keep open communication with them and say it's a longer closing because of a probate issue, because of this, that you got to keep open communication with the buyer because maybe maybe because it's been so long they're using the funds somewhere else that they were going to spend on your deal okay okay, okay. so you got to keep that communication open and keep on going all okay, right that, that yes okay that 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 makes total sense everything yep. you're saying makes total sense to me i appreciate that so um now the last thing is is when it comes to the closing documents Okay. You're going to have two sets. If it's a good title company, a wholesaling friendly com title company. All right. They're going to have two sets of documents. Okay. They're going to have, here, let me write that down. Uh, you're going to have seller documents. And then you're going to have um, buyer documents. Okay. So you're going to have seller documents and you're going to have buyer documents. Okay. And again, sorry for the software writing, but it's all good. 
So seller documents, what is it going to have? Seller documents is going to have the basic, the, the taxes, any liens, okay? Um, if the seller is paying closing costs, okay, then they'll have closing costs. Okay, but if the seller's not paying closing costs, if it's only on the buyer, then they won't have that or they'll have a credit. Okay, so then um, uh, what, what else is there? Uh, yeah, so liens include uh, taxes, water bill, uh, water, uh, blight. Blight tickets. Those blight tickets are tickets from the city okay. for like too long of a grass, um, you know, dumping or anything like that. Okay. Right? So on the buyer side, what you're going to have is you're going to have the same thing. Okay. Everything, uh, everything from seller. Okay. You're gonna have everything from the seller, all right? But you're also going to have wholesale fee. Okay? And closing costs. So closing costs will come in if the seller is paying if the buyer is paying all closing costs. Okay. okay. You'll have closing costs either way. It's just whether the buyer's paying only half of it or the buyer's paying that the buyers and the sellers. What's typical? Okay. What, what is typical? Every price point is different. And every every uh, um, every price point is different and every uh, property is different uh, as far as like title company is different as well. Okay. So I'll give you an example on a $25,000 property. We did one at, where the entire closing cost was about 1200 bucks. Okay. Yeah. That's for both sides. Yeah. Okay. All you right? can eat that. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, um, but the more the property costs, the higher the, the closing costs are. Okay, okay, so what does it get to be at like 150, 200? You're talking 2,500, three grand? Yeah. Yep, about two, about two grand to 2,500. Okay. If it's a cash deal, it's a lot cheaper than it is if it's a mortgage. Okay. Okay. So that's another thing is, is if there's a loan on the property or a lien or there's something like that, that's added costs. Okay. <clears throat> so. This is the most important thing here, your wholesale fee. Because guess what? That's how you get paid. What's an average fee? 10 grand? Every house is different. Every house is different. Okay. I do an average about five grand per house. Okay. Okay. But if I go out in the suburbs, I'm, it might be a little bit more. I go in Detroit, it's gonna be a little bit less. I, I Again, you never okay. know. Every okay. property is different. Okay. okay. I don't want you limiting yourself to um, just one, one price. Okay. All right. So um, I put an average, I try to shoot for 10 grand. That way, if I JV it, I'm at least getting five. Okay. okay. But if I can push it for a little bit more, I will. Okay. You know, well, what's the it most? It just depends. Number? What's your uh, highest? Mo the highest is 21. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. The highest is 21. Now I still had to split that with my partner when I was working with at the time. But okay. yeah. So. Um, still, that's not but, bad. I mean, no, it's not a bad deal. Right. So again, your wholesale fee, You the reason why it's on a buyer's document, you don't want the seller seeing that. Okay. You don't want the seller seeing what you're making. Okay. Okay. 
Now, again, it comes down to being honest where if they accidentally see it, that's okay. But, you know, it, it it's a hard conversation to have. Especially yeah. at the closing table. Yeah. All right. And here's another thing. You don't have to go to the closing table. Oh. I've never been to a closing table. Well, they just send you, a, the, the title company sends you a check? Yeah, uh, they either send you the check or you can ask for a wire. Okay. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm not saying it's not, you're, you're not dealing with any issues. I've had a, a seller literally walk away from the closing table and I had to talk him off the edge. And he turned around, went back and signed the papers. Okay. Right. Um, because of the statement that was there. I learn from every single deal. If I come out, if I came across an issue in this, then I learn from that. And the next deals, I'm making sure I'm bringing those things up in the beginning before they're even an issue. Okay. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room